Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Chakwadash, the bonus to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, who rule well and taught us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings be unto you, hopeful, elected, that they not this word with all truth and sincerity. Shalom. <coughs> Shalakia. All right, this is a lesson on continue to prophesy the word. You know, because we're all microphones. So like, yeah. You know, because we're supposed to be microphones for the Lord. You know, the mouth of the the mouth of the Lord are these scriptures and his men, the men of the Lord, which are the prophets, the servants, the one forty four thousand servants, you know. And these prophets have been pure these certain men have been pure ordained from the beginning of the found before the foundations of the earth to prophesy this word, man. You know, to um to warn, you know, to to give you the word of the Lord, to to tell you what was going to happen, to make you aware, that you may take heed, and accept the word and repent and turn back unto the Lord, you know, that you may be forgiven for your sins. You know, and and most reincarnations, man, we've been doing that, you know. Right, even in this last captivity where you where Esau, you know, stripped you away from your heritage, you had certain men, or I suggest Nat Turner, Nat Turner that would um so like in most reincarnations you would no, no, every single reincarnation, you know, you you would bring about this word. You know, even this even this cap even this last captivity, man, where he stripped you away from your heritage, you know, back in hardcore slavery. Hardcore bondage, you had people like Nat Turner, you know, that knew they were Israelites, man. You know? And that's why they would re re rebel and revolt. So, you know, these prophets, man, every single life they've been on here, what they would do is prophesy the word. You know, because they're chosen for, for, for this thing, man. You know? Because they can, they, their endurance, man, is so... Strong man, and they could they could carry the burden of the word of the Lord because this is really a burden, man. You know, when you have all this knowledge, you start feeling sorrow. You know, and right now, we know what's gonna happen very very soon. You know, Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai is gonna set the world on fire. You know, by way of these missiles and his chariots. You know, which are the Lord's army. You know. And fire is a cleaning mechanism, mechanism, so it's bound to wipe away all the wickedness from it. You know, what do what do um, hospitals do with their um, infected utensils? You know, they put them in a jar and then they they, they put them in the oven. Why? Because you know, the heat it, it works as a as a um, cleaning mechanism for impurities. You know, such as gold. Anyways, in this book have a cook chapter two verse one. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Yeah, because back then in the ancient world, what you have, you had these guards go up the ladder into a watchtower and just taking the full view and make sure that there ain't no n nothing bad happening, man. You know, and they'll just look. At their surroundings 24 7 you know making sure that there ain't no enemy army coming at them at their doorstep you know, to attack so they could send the alarm and get prepared and even then man you know you had prophets the great prophets like Isaiah Habakkuk right here you know Ezekiel Jeremiah Daniel etc you know these great prophets you know they're 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 they were called of the Lord, man, not to preach this word, to prophesy this word. You know, as watchmen, report what the Lord says unto the people. And that's what we're doing right now. The other apostle to her, you know, made a decree saying, saying, um, don't do three videos a day anymore, but do them every day. And that's gonna, and that's hard on, on a lot of brothers because of their schedule. You know, I just managed to do a video today, you know. So we're out here 
reporting these things that happen. You know, Bishop T.D. Jakes, which um, this is the dude on the bottom with the glasses, and he is a Jake, man. So even his name says a lot. Jakes. You're simple and mind. You're simple minded. You know, I'm Puff Daddy, Sean Combs, that one record label manager, whatever he is. You know, they, they teamed up to bring about kingdom culture sermons to hip hop community. Which is really bugged out, man, because why can why do scriptures have to be correlated with with with, with the worldly genre, man? You know, that's like Sakari right there. You know? It's bugged out. Because what what what, what this hip hop community does is, you know, when you get into it, man, it's like a, some kind of initiation, man. If you seen those videos, man, they tell you to like be gay and stuff like that. You know? And, you know, a bunch of rappers committed suicide because of the hip-hop community, man. You know, they got these demons. And all of a sudden, they want to bring this word. You know, they want to, so like, they want to, they want to, um, apply the Bible to the hip-hop community, which is bugged out. You know? That ain't happening. And right here, U.S. Air Force is dispatching dozens of F-22 fighter jets to the Pacific amid tensions with China. You know, it's that beef between Taiwan and America against China. You know, they want that. They, they, they want to claim that land, but Taiwan wants to be independent from China. You know, like that beef that was going on in Hong Kong um, three years ago, I believe. So, yeah, man, these are these are our prophecies, man. You know, the, the Air Force thing is a is prophecy, you know, nation against nation. You know, you shall hear rumors of wars. But this is a mark, man. Um, you know, don't be discouraged. Roughly paraphrasing there, man. You know, they're not fear because these things have to happen. So, you know, we're reporting these things to you. That, that you may that you may find out, that you may know. Be aware of it. The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. But the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Yeah, man. And what's going to happen? You know, uh, that MLB thing with that, with that NWO, what Esau wants, that New World Order. Um, what else? Yeah, uh, the, the missiles, you know, the upcoming destruction of Babylon the Great along with the whole world, man. You know, these missiles and, and, and chariots. And Yahweh Shai comes down. You know, uh, persecution, etc. Man, All right? Because this is, uh, last year was a year of prophecy, but this is a year of hastening, man. You know, this is like a continuation of what happened last year. You know, so you see, there's a, there's a scripture for everything, as the other apostle Gabba says. You know, um, we're, we're, we're out here telling you what to do. You know, we're reporting these things to you. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. See, we're making you aware of these things that happen, man. And, you know, we're telling you this for the elect, man. First and foremost, the elect, because the elect are going to get it. You know, they're going to accept it. You know, you heathens and and Jake's out there that 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 that, that hear this word, man. And y'all are cool. Okay, then. But, you know, this is for the, for the elect, man. Isaiah 40 and 22. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers. See that, man? So we're, 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 we're nothing compared to the powers, man. You know, you know this. what we're doing out here, man, is hastening the day of the two most important uh, um, spirits in all existence, man. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? So, you know, man, we're as grasshoppers until the most high. So that free will bull crap, man, or that 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 that, that want to do this, that desire, that lust, no, man, you know, because we know we know we know that we're grasshoppers, man. We're, we're a worm to the Lord, man. You know, and if we've been given this mercy, which is this truth, you know, cause of this thing, then, man, we gotta be thankful, man, because right now the the the, the destruction is nigh, but at the same time. You know, the Lord is giving mercy you know, to his elect, man. 
So we're grasshoppers, which is why we're doing this thing, man. Because how can we be prideful, man? How can we be prideful? You know, we're out here. Just, 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 you know, like an hireling, you know? Just doing the will of the Lord. Because we're nothing into the powers. You know, we're hastening the day of the two most important spirits, man. Which is why I bring this scripture out. Because we're nothing. And, you know, they're the most important beings. So, like, the most important spirits. You know, we're prophesying that Yahweh Shai is going to come down in his full glory. And because of that, people are going to, you know, drop down and give it the ghost, like, in a snap. Matthew 12 and 15, For whosoever shall do the will of my Father, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking, man, which is in heaven the same as my brother and sister and mother. See that? What is the will of the Lord? The will of the Father, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, you know, to teach this word. You know? And if we do the will, then, of the, of the Father, then shall we be called Yahweh Shai's brother, sister, and mother. You know? <clears throat> Mark 13 and 34, For the Son of Man is a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servants. You know? Because it, because it, the beginning of man was Yahweh created Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai created the angels, so like the elect man, the Elohim, you know, divine powers and angels, man. You know? And the elect are our power too, man. You know? And they, they, and you, you know, one forty four thousand of the of the, of the elect man, you know, they're chosen to, to to prophesy. So you know, we have authority to bring about this word, man. And to every man is working and commanded the porter to watch. You know, where that porter, that porter meaning, mean, means someone who carries a burden, and we're carrying the burden of the word of the Lord. A, a porter also means a guard. You know, that's why it says supported to watch, because what a guard does is just watch and see what happens. A bodyguard, you know, make sure something is well protected. And we're, we're, we're prophesying this word, man. That's, that's an important thing. That's the most important thing to do right now. For 2021, year of hastening. Anyways, I hope this video was edifying. Lord, will we continue to push. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises on and glory unto Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, and Baha Shem Ahara Chakwadash. The bonus with the elders and apostles like Ray Millstone, who rule well and taught us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings be to you. Hopefully, you like that depiction of this word of thought, truth, and sincerity. Shalom.